UFC Vegas 26 has seen more changes than an Olympic relay race, but Michelle Watterson and Marina Rodriguez are poised to take full advantage of their promotion to the main event. As he does every week, the guts and glory MMA statman Andy Hickey has bribed, blackmailed and bedded anyone with inside knowledge of the event's participants. He has compiled 10 stats you need to know before watching this weekend's fights, so show him some love and follow him on Twitter using this handle. Now, let's get on with it. Michelle Waterson is making her fourth UFC main event appearance in what will be the first main event in eight months for the female divisions. Eight ladies have headlined three or more UFC events, with Waterson being the only non-champion on the list, a nod to her perceived marketability and popularity amongst UFC brass. It's no surprise that pay-per-view mainstays Ronda Rousey and Holly Holm lead the way with six apiece, with consensus all-time great Amanda Nunes coming in with just five. What's more surprising is Watterson's fourth fight at the top of this card will see her now sit ahead of Rose Namajunas, Ioanni Andrzejczyk and Chris Cyborg, who've all topped the card on just three occasions. Donald Cerrone is quite simply a record-breaking machine. He makes his 37th UFC appearance on Saturday, tying Jim Miller as they continue to trade the number one position. Cowboy already holds the record for most wins, most finishes, most fight night bonuses and is the only fighter in UFC history to score 20 plus knockdowns. At 38 years old, the former WEC and UFC title challenger has shown no signs of slowing down. Gregor Gillespie is the current number 14 ranked lightweight in the world but hasn't been seen in the octagon since he lost his undefeated record to Kevin Lee in a highlight reel knockout for the ages. His recent inactivity makes Gillespie just one of five ranked fighters that haven't competed since 2019 alongside Shamil Abdurakhimov, Yair Rodriguez, Sergei Pavlovich and Aspen Ladd. Of course Gillespie was scheduled to face Brad Rydell in March but this was abandoned due to COVID protocols. Now I damn near sprained my tongue getting the pronunciations of this paragraph correct, so if you appreciate my diction, a thumbs up would be supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Brothers Kyle and Chris Dawkus both made their Octagon debut in 2020, becoming yet another set of brothers to compete inside the UFC. They joined Davison and Francisco Figueredo, Dominic and Alex Reyes, Valentina and Antonina Shevchenko, Gilbert and Herbert Burns, and of course Stockton's favourite sons, Nick and Nate Diaz, as siblings currently on the UFC's roster. Donald Cerrone may hold the moniker of the most active fighter in UFC history, but it's Neil Magdy that leads the way for his ability to make a consistently quick turnaround. Ten fighters have competed on five occasions in a calendar year for the UFC, with Magny being the only one to achieve this twice in 2014 and 2015. He went 5 from 5 in 2014 and is alongside Roger Huerta and Kevin Holland as the only fighters to have won five times in a calendar year in the UFC. Ben Rothwell is the definition of a veteran. He passed the 20-year mark as a professional in January and will contest his 52nd pro fight this Saturday. He is just one of seven current UFC fighters to hit 50-plus fights as a professional, alongside Andrew Olovsky, Anthony Smith, Sam Alvey, Donald Cerrone, Jorge Masvidal and Clay Guida. Rothwell's durability cannot be understated, with OSP being the only fighter to knock him down in his 12-year UFC career. Here's a question for you guys. Of the younger generation of fighters, let's say 15 fights or less, who do you reckon is a sure bet to reach 50 plus fights in their career? Answers in the comments below. Four facts to go. Taila Santos earned her shot on Dana White's Contender Series after compiling an impressive 13-0 start to her career on the Brazilian regional scene. If you look a little closer, you will find one of the more obvious record paddings we've seen prior to entering the UFC. Santos's first 13 opponents had a combined record of 8 wins and 11 losses, a common trend for Astro Fight Team, who've seen Julio Cesar Neves and Luis Laurentino tally 30 fight win streaks before being humbled on the big stage. 
Santos opened her UFC run with a defeat, but has since stormed back with two wins, suggesting she may just have the talent her record suggests. Marcos Rogerio de Lima has alternated between wins and losses for his last 10 bouts, and per the pattern is due a win on Saturday night. His 2019 loss to Stefan Struve makes difficult reading from a statistical perspective. The fight lasted a total of 7 minutes and 21 seconds, with De Lima being subbed after blowing the gas tank on what he believed was going to be a finish. The interesting part is that for the 7 plus minutes the bout went on, the 7 foot Dutchman was not credited with landing a single significant strike, one of the more improbable losses to suffer. Uzbekistan's Saruk Adashev made his UFC bout with a relatively inexperienced 3-1 record to his name, with all three wins coming under the Bellator banner. Back-to-back -back losses in his opening two bouts have seen him fall to 3-3, which leaves him as just one of two current male fighters in the UFC that cannot boast a winning career record. Mike Jackson of CM Punk fame shares this dubious honour. If you tuned into last week's edition, you would have noted the battle between Angela Hill and Randa Marcos as they both tried to avoid a record-breaking 10th loss in the UFC. Marcos fell short in her efforts due to an illegal upkick, with Hill having to stave off fan favourite Amanda Ribas this week as she looks to avoid double-digit UFC losses. Both fighters are the most active strawweights in UFC history, which has been a major factor in this undesirable distinction. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more original content like top 10 lists, matchmaker recommendations and live discussion panel podcasts, subscribe below for a steady stream of top MMA content from Guts and Glory MMA.